hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am very 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 excited because i have a special guest of my channel you guys this is my elder sister okay yeah <laughs> this is my elder sister her name is ij so let her introduce herself hello everyone hello guys my name is ijoma yeah. i decided to start using my full name guys uh, okay. yes so my name is Ijoma, but you can call me IJ for short. I am also a YouTuber, a YouTuber based yes. in Kotaka here. The name of my channel is IJ's Corner. Corner. Yeah. yeah. So you guys, I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description box. Go and check her out. She has very interesting content. If you want to see a popping, how do you now? Can you, do you want to share? I don't want to share. Okay, but she's, until it's, I'm close to fifty. Yes, but she's close to fifty. Face. You guys. If you look at all of us now, you would think that we're idiots. <laughs> she's close to 50, she's puppy. I love her sense of style. I love the way she carries herself. The way she this is my elder sister. So you guys please go and check out her channel. Please subscribe, you know, watch her videos, like her video. We're also collaborating on her channel as well. So just go and watch it, okay? Yeah, so in today's video, we're going to be asking her hot questions that you people want to ask older women, you know, the Gen X, you know. I'll be as sincere as possible. Yeah, so about life, about marriage, about everything. So if you'd like to know what her answers are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so um, you guys sent in your questions on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please go and, you know, follow me on Instagram. My handle is at adeze underscore space okay adeze space so i just want your own um, instagram um mm -hmm. it's i just i just corner mm -hmm. as well yeah okay so the first question is what would you say to your younger to your 25 year old self what would you say to your 25 year old self what i would say to my 25 year old self i've been thinking of that <laughs> nothing 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 are you serious maybe to my 20 Seven year old self. Okay. Focus. <laughs> why? Why twenty seven? Why did you choose that? That, that because is? something happened at twenty seven. That's why. Okay. I, it's not something I want to, to share. share. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, but my twenty seven year old self. I would have said, be patient. Yeah. Focus. Focus. Be patient. Before I turned twenty, I was focused. I knew what I wanted out of life. Are you serious? Yes. So some mistakes that people made. Mm. At that age, you I didn't, didn't meet them. Yeah. I didn't. Okay, what advice would you give a woman in her twenties who is trying to find herself? Okay. Um build yourself. Okay. Try and discover who you are. Spend time on you. You know, mm -hmm. you know, at that age, a lot of a lot of people are thinking of marriage yeah. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But while you are thinking of that, while you are trying to decide where you want to go in life eh advise yourself mm -hmm. develop yourself mm -hmm. spend time on you mm -hmm. Dis discovering who you, you are. really are yeah so that what that thing that you have in mind to do later in life when it happens you will be sure yeah That's you know true. i have a video like that on my channel discovering mm -hmm. yourself i was talking yeah. to singles you know mm -hmm. before you marry know yourself mm -hmm. because a lot of us make that mistake of we don't know where we are heading to. All we know is we want to get married. We mm. want to enter a man's house. Yeah. And then when that happens, you find out that you're lost. You're lost, yeah. In that marriage. So spend time now to discover you. Mm -hmm. Listen, just, I just remembered something. Me and Nino did a video recently about is marriage a disadvantage to women? What's your answer on that? I want to know your take. Marriage is not a, a disadvantage. Okay. It is definitely not a disadvantage. Advantage. Okay. If you know you, yeah you'll be able to see maybe the way i grew up may be different from the way a lot of other people grew mm. up that ma when it, it came to marriage i started praying before i met my husband okay so when i met him i didn't need to start saying let me go and think about it mm. you okay. get of course i had suitors before him mm -hmm. that i knew that we were not going anywhere anywhere yeah this cannot be yeah so my is really not a disadvantage mm -hmm. yeah I, I, marriage, I agree. marriage mm -hmm. should add to you yes it should yeah marriage should make mm -hmm. you better yeah and because me my what i was thinking was 
if marriage is a disadvantage, then why, do, why are people still getting married? Getting married. Yeah, don't get married. Now. Stay there. It's not a it depends on who you marry. Last but last. but the, 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 mm -hmm. you know, the mistake a lot of people make is when they, when they keep saying, I, I can't see myself living life without you. Mm. See, one thing I believe about marriage is that any two people can get married. Yeah. Do you know I think so? Any I don't believe there is one soulmate somebody somewhere. For you. Yeah. Any two people. You know, Bible says, can two work together unless they yeah, agree. Yeah. agree. You yeah. know? Any two people. So that man you're having sleepless nights over might not be might him. not just be him. Mm -hmm. And if you do if you do a survey of those that are already married, you'll find mm -hmm. out that a lot of them would not choose their spouse. Their spouse, yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> a lot. It's true. And that's why some arranged marriages work too as well. Yeah. 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 It's so true. any two people, as long as there's that understanding. Mm -hmm. In fact, somebody was telling me an uh, an older cousin was saying respect yeah is true. greater than love actually you nice to say that love is not what sustains in mind yeah People coming for me respect he said respect is greater once there's that respect mm -hmm. you respect on both sides on both sides other, yeah. yeah i mean any two people can get married so all this one uh, he's taking sleep from you go and sleep <laughs> How can you make your mother to stop interfering in your marriage all the time? And and don't sound wait, let me see. She's saying, okay, I just want to sound rude. Okay, I would start by asking, do you tell your mother the things that happen in your marriage? Okay, because it. if you always include her in the things that happen in your marriage, then she would always interfere. interfere. Yeah. She would always interfere. I've been married for 21 years now. I have I never picked my phone to say daddy or mommy or sister or pastor. My husband did this or did not do this. Never. So it's when you give room. I consider all those people as third parties. Yeah. The absolutely. two people that are important in that marriage relationship is the husband and the wife. Mm -hmm. Every other person is a thought party. Thought party. So, like the person that asked the question, if you have been involving your mother in your marriage, you have given her the room to mm -hmm. interfere. Yeah. But if if you haven't and you find out that she's interfering, find a nice way mm -hmm. of letting her know that you are okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does she not trust your judgment? She trained you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's yeah. a nice way to That's something, it. but parents too, Sha. Parents always remember that they've trained this person. Allow your child yeah, to go. So and... remind her. Mm. You trained me, and if you believe you did a good job, then believe that I should be able to make wise decisions yeah. in my marriage. Yeah. So remind her of that nicely. If she believes she trained you well, then she should believe that whatever it is in your marriage, you'll be able to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. But if it's abuse, no. Run, Allah interfere. If it's abuse, Allah. <laughs> For me, that's a deal breaker. Yeah. If it's abuse, breaker. eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, Abba. Okay, so the next one is <laughs> married, marriage. Okay. Why does marriage limit a woman? Uh, uh, in what in way? way? <laughs> See, did marriage limit you in any way? It did not. Mm -hmm. The only thing was that I had to take some decisions. Okay. In in the in um, I had to weigh my career and my family. Okay. Because I didn't want to to take a job that would take me away from home. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I had to take that decision mm -hmm. instead of doing a nine to five. I have never done a nine to five. Oh. Never. Instead of doing a nine to five, let me do businesses. Okay. Something that will give me time. Mm -hmm. So I started my shop. So I wouldn't see it as it it limited. limiting me. Yeah. If I had decided to do something else, my husband would have supported. Me. Yeah. So it actually depends on who your my spouse too. is. Yeah. There are some men that I know that don't want their wives to work mm -hmm. or to do other things. Mm -hmm. But if the man you married or yeah, because basically it's the mm -hmm. woman that's always feeling disadvantaged. disadvantaged yeah. If the man you married understands all these things you people discuss some things you know mm -hmm. there's some people when they are cutting there are some they don't have discussions i don't even yes, know what yeah. they do maybe it's just i love you oh really i love you when, too. Let's go, let's go courtship, let's should be, courtship should be a time of you know intense discussion put everything on the table mm -hmm. let us see this is it for me this is it for no, me no but you know i think another issue is when people don't even know what to ask 
Do you know? And what they want. Yeah. Some people don't even know what to ask. Some people just feel like we've discussed it all. How many children? Two children. Okay, where will we live? It doesn't Vegas. end. That, it doesn't end there. You need to pick people's brains to understand their mindset on certain things. You know. And then if mm -hmm. uh, and then if you people's um perspective uh, perspective what am I it's not perspective <laughs> if you people's perspective about life is mm -hmm. the same. It makes a lot of things easy. Easy, yeah. If you if you guys see things the mm -hmm. same way, I'm not saying that you will see everything the, the same. Yeah. Way, but those things Important that are things. basic mm -hmm. for you, like for me, it was faith. Mm -hmm. Faith was basic for me mm -hmm. before we even start discussing marriage. That was basic. basic. Yeah. So me too. If if you 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 are that kind of person, know what is basic for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Because those are the things that will cause real issues in your marriage yes. later. Those are, it's not the other yes. you know, smaller things. Why do women need to, need approval from their partner to do things and men don't need the same? Whoever said that no, no. men don't Thank need... You. you know, that is a <laughs> wrong impression mm -hmm. that people have. And we have given men that... Yeah, what would I call it? Freedom so that, or to, to, to yeah. feel that way. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be. It's not. It's not balanced. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, it's the two of you. Yeah. So, it's like when we want to do things, we discuss. It. We discuss it. Yeah. Yes, it's my husband that is in charge financially. Okay. My money is my money. His mm, money is our, our money. money. Of course. <laughs> you get so, yeah. but because. He's the one providing does not mean that you might say is yeah. not important. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. So that mindset is wrong. Mm -hmm. That mindset is wrong. The man needs to also yeah. discuss, discuss things, things with the wife. And mm -hmm. you find out that when that and when men like give their wives that opportunity, they would some mistakes they would have ordinarily made. Yeah, the wife will not. Yeah, the wife will, will help them not, not make, make mistakes. It. It's true. Yeah. Does age affect activities in the other room? Oh. <laughs> does age? It does not. Oh. Mm -hmm. it Are you does listening? Not. It I've, does not. I've heard that it gets better. Is it true? I think so. Are you serious? Yes, I oh, think okay. so. Oh, okay. So, why don't you look forward to it? In there was something my husband told me recently. He said, ah, I'm liking this new you. <laughs> hey, are you serious? <laughs> hey, whoa. No, so, let's take notes. You know, they will say when, you're, when you get a certain age, maybe from um, late 40s, mm. that place becomes dry, blah, 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 all those kind of things, uh, whatever, whatever, the libido is low, mm. the libido is high, all those kind of things. But for me, that activity is a mind it's a mind thing. thing yeah. It's a psychological mm. thing. If you're ready, you're ready. If you're not ready, ready you're, you're not ready. ready. So okay. I don't think age has anything to do. No. Like I told okay. you, I don't want to reveal my age. <laughs> mm. I want to reveal it when I'm celebrating my yeah. 50 years. Yeah. But just know that I'm just like... Yeah, very close. Very close. <laughs> so it, do it doesn't... Okay. <laughs> How do you get along with your in-laws if you didn't make a very good first impression? Hmm. Mm. About in-laws, I will say this. It depends on who your husband is. is. Yeah. I, I assume it's a lady that asked. So yeah. I'm answering the yeah, women. Lady, okay? yeah. It depends on... Because I think the first time I went to my husband's place, I don't think... I, 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 I wasn't interested in leaving any impression. Yeah, same here. Me too. <laughs> I actually went, I crossed my legs, they cooked food mm -hmm. and brought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same here. Because if you say... This one that our brother, our son wants to marry, that is not doing anything. Mm. Don't I know that in my own home that I will do, do something? Things? Yeah, I know. It yeah, it's not. So it's not I, when I come and do it in your house that proves that in my own. So home I wasn't about to impress. So I don't know whether I. Don't, I cannot say the kind of impression, impression I made mm -hmm. the first time, because mm -hmm. I wasn't keen on impressing. I learned mm -hmm. it long ago. Mm -hmm. You see, anybody that. Cannot be impressed by you will never, never be, be impressed, impressed by, by you. Yeah. And anybody <laughs> that doesn't, how would I put it? It's like my relationship with my late grandmother, my paternal grandmother. It was a bitter sweet one. I I could never do anything to impress her, never. So I stopped trying. Hmm. I think that was where I learned that yeah. I stopped trying. So I wouldn't. I won't. I can't say the impression I left there, but I know that 
Right now we have a very good relationship. relationship. Yeah. Uh, my my parents in law are late anyway. Okay. And but I met the two of them. I didn't have any issues with, with any them. of them. Yeah. And then maybe because also my husband, no, his people are very nice. That's another thing. His have. people are yeah. very nice. And then my husband is like, he's not the first son, but he's like the first son. Okay. So that respect is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may not be respecting me for me. me. Yeah, but the respect but you're is respecting me for me. You know that yeah, I get. It's yes. true. So, do you know, I've noticed this. The respect that they put on the husband usually trickles to the wife. If they yeah. don't respect your husband, they won't they will respect, not respect No matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Yeah. And if your husband is the type that's always bringing... See, men, I don't know, I'm sure men watch these videos. Yes, yeah, they do. So. Don't... Protect your wife. Protect. I say this thing now. From outsiders. Mm -hmm. And when I say outsiders, your your the parents. People, yes, your people are outsiders. Them. Yeah. Anybody that's not the two of you is a third party. Yeah. A lot of men make that mistake. The way they treat their wives in front of their siblings. siblings yeah. And if if you are treating your wife that way, they will treat They'll her treat that her, way. Yeah. Too. Yeah. That's the truth. They will treat her that way. So men, please carry your even if inside your house we have yeah, invited mm. <laughs> in front of others carry her well mm. and if she's wise she will do the same she'll do the same yeah yeah no matter what do you know this is so important because you know when i battled infertility for four years mm -hmm. people always ask me what did your mother-in-law say how did they how did your in-laws do i say i didn't hear pain from from you. any not even my mother-in-law asked me for one day because there was no opportunity for there was them. no opportunity like I'm not, in fact, if she wants to ask me, maybe she asked my husband, I don't know. He didn't yeah. even tell me. Exactly. If she asked, I didn't exactly. hear pain from them. So it was because he gave me that, you know, protection. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that. The mm. way you carry her. Like there was something that happened years ago when I was living in Worry. You know, this thing that quarrel, little misunderstanding, one of the uh, parties will tell the whole happen, yeah. world, mm. you no. Know, your, my husband did this to me. Your sister mm. knows that your husband did this. Your mm. mother, your father knows that your husband did this. Now, when people reconcile, nobody will go and tell them we have yeah. reconciled or we have put that mm. behind us. Now, I think that was what was happening in this particular home. Until the woman died. And he, she was murdered. Hmm. So, the sister carried on her head. I mm. was the man. Meanwhile, the man had nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with it. it. Can you imagine? Nothing. So that's why it's good. Keep your matters within, within yourselves. yourselves. Unless you agree to involve mm. the property. But, but if times. it is an abuse thing, that's why. I say, see, there's nothing that both of you cannot trash. But mm. if it is an abuse thing, yeah, then look for somebody to talk to. to yeah. But if it's not abuse, mm -hmm. physical or emotional, emotional mm -hmm. Then, yes, let's see. Yeah. How does men menopause affect you? Does it apply? I, to I you? never reach. Ah, please do. <laughs> never reach. You. Um, I, I, you know the funny thing is, I'm actually waiting for it to come. I'm right. Tired, oh. See, uh, to be honest, me too. I, 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 hey. I, I, I once you've had your kids, I just like let the just cook up. Like, can we just tell God, like, I'm ready for it? <laughs> Should women believe that all men cheat just because they don't want to be heartbroken? You see this cheating thing? I want to be a voice for the men. <laughs> it's not only okay. men that it's sorry, it's not only, only men, men that, that cheat. cheat. Both sexes cheat. Both genders cheat. Mm -hmm. So we should not carry it on our minds that uh, the, uh, men the men cheat. cheat. Mm -hmm. I don't have that issue. I've never like I've never bothered about where where my husband went to mm -hmm. or who he went to see. Where does he even go? Yeah, like, yeah, that's it. Oh, so the, the about that cheating thing, it's not only men that cheat, women cheat too. Mm -hmm. So we should remove that from our minds. Yeah. And my advice would be before you marry somebody, pray. pray. You know, when we say this thing, it sounds cliche, mm. but it is not. It is not. Yeah. Because I believe that God answers prayers. Oh, yes, yeah. So if you He'll direct if, you right. Yes, he will mm -hmm. direct you right. How do you handle a mother in law that is so possessive over his son as a wife? Hey. <sighs> Didn't you know before you got married? <laughs> Do I have an answer? <laughs> I don't know if I have an answer for that, but okay, let me say what I would do if okay. I was in her shoes. Her shoes. Mm -hmm. First of all, eh, that's one mistake we make when you are cutting someone and you see any sign. If that thing does not change, 
before marriage, there's no guarantee that it will change, it will change after marriage. Yeah, it may even get worse. So if you, he was, what was that question again? Handle a mother in law that's possessive. possessive yeah. If you notice that before you married him, you took that decision to live with whatever yeah, it is. Saw, yeah. I don't know why women are like that. Like me, I have only sons. And I know that I will not be like that. Yeah. At least I know no. that mm -hmm. I will not. My mother was not like that. Mm -hmm. Never. You've lived your and own I life. Know, Allow your child live your yes, own life. Yes, exactly. You know? Let them make their decisions and live their own life. Mm -hmm. So, for you in that situation, uh, pray. Uh, that's <laughs> all I can say. Pray. Okay, let me, let's just ask this uh, last one. How do you ease mom guilt, especially when you travel without your kids? Do you ever feel I don't we guilt. I, I don't see a song that I feel because it's guilt. time for me. Like like you know when I used to I, I used to travel alone a lot when I was doing my business. Okay. That was the time I used to travel alone a lot. But if it's a vacation, if it, if it's a family vacation, mm. it's a family vacation. Mm. But then I was doing business trips. Mm. I wasn't missing I wasn't feeling any guilt. <laughs> so you not feel bad I, I was looking I was always looking forward I see. to the trip. <laughs> guilt qua. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what you're talking about. The eh? <laughs> only then, thing I, I do is I make sure that there are people at home to take yeah. care of them. If their father is there, what is my... What name? is your... Yeah. It, they are also 100% his, his kids. His kids. I'm not the only one that gave birth to them. Mm -hmm. So, my dear, I don't have any... In fact, as I'm sitting down now, I'm looking for where to go. <laughs> <laughs> In this pandemic that's mm -hmm. what plans for, mm -hmm. for everybody. As I'm sitting I like to travel. Mm -hmm. I love traveling. So, as I'm sitting down now, eh? Even my baby, the mm. six-year-old one, mm. I can forget him and travel. <laughs> so, hey, no, <laughs> you don't live this life twice because I enjoy yeah. your life. Oh. That you are a mother doesn't mean you are somebody's slave. Oh. Yeah, it's true, <laughs> sure. Okay, I think that's the questions we can handle for today. I really enjoyed this I conversation. Enjoyed Thank you for coming on my channel. Thank you for having <laughs> me. You're welcome. Wow, who am I on a yeah. desert space? Please, you guys, and I I think I explain when I said she's my other sister, I mean it. She's from my mom's village and she knows my mom very well. Like not uh, as uh, they're not the same. I have decided to adopt yeah. your mother. <laughs> as, 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 as my mother. Yeah. As I am a motherless woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like they, 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 when she came to visit and my mom was around, like they were just still like I you know, met the person I came to yeah, see and I was just, yeah, just listening, like, okay. Oh. So yeah, please. See, you again. people, you people, let me even say this. People think Ada can tell story. You've not met her mother. Ah, uh, don't worry. You have not met her. If you meet her mother. Yeah, I think they know small of me from, from hey. when I teach her. My mom can juice for hours. Oh, oh sweet woman. <laughs> she will stage you. Yeah. Oh, my. I had you want to go. that day. Yeah. I had fun that yeah. day. Yeah. So, um, you guys, uh, remember to head over to her channel. We're collaborating on her channel as well. Very interesting topic, okay? Also about motherhood. She has all boys. I mean, I have all girls, so let's go there and go and battle it, okay? Yeah, so, um, do you have anything else to say? Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm yeah. really, really, really happy, yeah. you know, to be doing this with you. Yeah. This happens to be my first physical collaboration. Yes, wow! Physical so. collaboration. And who else to do it with than me? <laughs> you know, so I'm so happy. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Are there space people? Biko, oh, you yes, guys, please. show me that love too. Show me that love too. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, and you know, like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on all these you know questions that she answered, and we'll see you in our next video. All right, bye. bye. bye.